driver who was also known for coming close to winning the championship before this year. Keith Rocco was fourth two years in a row and second in the NASCAR win in All-American Series last year before he won it this year. Uh, clinched the championship with a month remaining in the season. Keith, can you talk about uh, <laughs> your <right> this year? <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's a huge accomplishment. It's, uh, to me, it's a throwback of the old days. It seems like in order to win this title, you just have to run as many races as possible. And, you know, I race three nights a week. Thursday at Thompson, Friday at Stafford, and Saturday at Waterford. So just try to get in as many races as you can. And, and over the past few years, we fell short because of car count. So this year, the car count was good at two of the tracks. So that was a, a huge, huge advantage for us. And uh, we just kind of came into the season. We kind of joked about it and said, you know, they're taking your best 18 races. And we said, well, we're going to have to win 18 races to do this. And over the past few years, we've been winning 14, 15, 16 races a year. And, kind of joked about it, thinking we'd have to win 18, and uh, never did we think we'd do it. We actually won 21 races when the point season ended, and overall I ended up with 25 SK wins between the three tracks. And uh, it's just a great way to repay everybody that, that helped us along the way and stuck with us, and, and the teams and the car owners and the crew, they just uh, put in a lot of hours. It's tough. You, you race Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It usually takes Sunday to, to recover, and then you work on the cars Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and you're right back at it. And I mean, our season starts at the end of March and goes right to the, uh, to the end of October. So it's a pretty long season, even though the NASCAR points end before October.